This is question number 10 from this exercise 5.2. Now, in this case, we have to prove that the greatest integer function defined by fx is equal to box x, where x is greater than 0 and less than 3, is not differentiable at x is equal to 1 and at x is equal to 2. But you should know that greatest integer function is neither continuous nor differentiable at the integral point. So whenever x is an integer, like 1, 2, 3, minus 1, minus 2, this is not differentiable, nor it is continuous. So you can see that this is what our greatest integer function. So we can see that this function is continuous over here, but not continuous at x is equal to minus 3. Likewise, if you observe it, you can further see that this function is continuous right over here, but then become discontinuous at this point. So this is discontinuous over here, discontinuous over here. So we conclude that a function uh, that is greatest integer function is otherwise it is uh, continuous and differentiable except for integral points. That means if x is equal to minus 3, then I'll say it is neither continuous nor, di dis uh, nor uh, differentiable. Similarly, at x is equal to 2, it is not continuous, not differentiable. But then we don't use graph to explain this. We have to do using uh, the relation that if we get if we uh, uh, get LHD is equal to RHD at x is equal to say one, we say it's differentiable, else not. So we in this case has to prove that have to prove that it is not differentiable at x is equal to one. So we are going to prove this that it is not differentiable at x is equal to one. Moreover, you should also rec recollect the uh, this thing called greatest integer function. That is, if I take a 3.1 box, that means its value is 3, right? An integer which is preceding this. Now, similarly, but if I write minus 3.5, right? In the number line, you can see where it's minus 3.5. Let's say, for example, this is minus 3 and uh, it's going to be minus 4. So it's minus 3.5. So the greatest integer function is the integer preceding this will be minus 4. This is what you have to keep in mind while solving this question. Let's begin with the working of this question. So now, first of all, I'm writing the general formula that involves LHD and RHD, that is, uh, which is F dash A is equal to limit. This is LHD, I'm doing LHD. Yeah, limit, limit H tends to zero F of A minus H minus f of a is a over minus h. Now, once again, if I write f x is equal to mod x. Now, for f3 is going to be mod, sorry, this is not mod, box 3. And for greatest integer function is 3 only. Now, if I apply I'm replacing A with one, like we have two cases in the first case, it is one. So this is uh, uh, F1 minus H minus F of uh, one, right? And one more thing I wanted to say that, okay, let's uh, first begin with this over minus H. Now limit H tends to zero. Here, fx is what? fx is a mod box x. That means I have to replace this function with this x. This I'm going to, this x is replaced by this 1 minus h. So if I do, so this is box 1 minus h minus box 1 over minus h. But this is important to know that if I, from one, if I subtract a very small value, very small value, say one minus 0 0.0000000, something like that, we are going to get 0 0.999999. And whose greatest integer function is not one, in fact, zero. So we'll say, therefore, this is, a, this is zero, this is zero minus, for a greatest integer function, as I said, for F3, it is three. So therefore, for F1, it is box one, which is one only right for the greatest integer function and uh, yeah and that is over minus h 
So letter um, uh, minus one by minus one by minus h is equal to one over h that is equal to positive infinity. This is we got on the LHT. Now let's uh, do the RHT here. For RHT, we're going to write limit h tends to zero. This time it's going to be f a plus h minus f of a over positive h. So I'm going to replace this function with a box thing that is a is one here. One plus h minus box one over positive h. Now, 1 plus h is 1 point, uh, one uh, greater than 1, right? Very small value greater than 1. And the, uh, for a greatest integer function, which is slightly greater than 1, it is will be 1, right? Because if it is, let's say if I say that uh, 1.00000, something like that, that's greater than 1. And its greatest integer function is 1. So that's why I've replaced this with 1. For box 1, it's going to be 1 only. And the, that divided by h so it's coming 1 minus 1 0 0 divided by h is 0 so we have proved that lhd is not equal to rhd as you can see this is the lhd and this is the rhd so we'll say finally that since lhd is not equal to rhd we can write here that uh, since lhd is not equal to rhd at x is equal to 1 so here fx, which is equal to greatest integer function one is not differentiable at one. Similarly, we can prove that it is not differentiable at two or maybe minus two, minus five, minus six, not for an integer, but otherwise it is differentiable as well as continuous. So that's our concluding point is that greatest integer function is neither continuous nor differentiable at the integral point. Otherwise it is continuous as well as differentiable.